Hi everyone, this is Slash and Cut, and uh, today I'll be giving you a review or more of an overview of the latest Jerry Home Knife, the Arachi. Um, you know a review is going to be good when you have to tape up two fingers because they were bleeding too much after flipping it. This knife is scary. So, first of all, it's the Jerry Home Arachi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think Arachi is Japanese for storm, which makes sense because the previous knife or one of the previous knives of uh, Jerry Home was the Tempest. Let me get that straight. So Jerry Home is sticking to a storm team which is nice because of the flailing around of the handles and the whirling of the blades and it's a nice team so I, I like the name. Um, so the Jerry Home Arachi, why did I get this knife? This knife was an expensive knife. It was $875, which is, I mean, it, it is quite an investment. And I got it for a few reasons. Uh, I can only speak for myself, so this is kind of personal. But first of all, it's a Jerry Home knife. I've, I've, I'm a huge fan of Jerry Home's work. I've owned a Basilisk, I own Tempest, I own a Rachi now. I own a Prodigy, sadly don't own a Spectre, but I like his knife designs. He really understands um, how to design knives. I like the way they look, I like the way they flip, so they're definitely, I'm definitely a fan of his work. Uh, second of all, and I can show you this, and this is the reason why a lot of people wanted this, you can see on the uh, tank stamp, um, it's home and BB, and those two B's stand for Bali Ballistic, and uh, if you don't know Bali Ballistic, you definitely need to look him up. He's a legendary Balisong maker, a lot of people are after his knives, um, they're very very exclusive. I never even touched one, um, they're... I've been to a few knife shows in uh, France and uh, I couldn't find anyone who even owned or knew someone who owned uh, one of his knives. I, I don't know if there even are Bali Ballistics in Europe, there probably are, but I don't know. Um, I never even touched one and uh, they're pretty much legendary you just have to look up some pictures of his knives his blade grinds are insane and uh, yeah then this collaboration popped up and it was a chance for me to own some of his work so I jumped on it and uh, yeah I'm really happy about it I mean you just have to look at this blade to see why I like it so much so it's definitely my blade is a bit dirty here right here but I'll clean it up later it's just a beautiful beautiful grind and that's one of the main reasons why I got this knife it's just I mean the grind is insane so that's why I personally got this knife um, now I'm gonna go over some specs um, I also put them in the description so you don't have to look uh, listen to it too carefully. I also use this piece of advanced technology to measure them. So they might be a little bit off, but it's just to give you a general general idea of the knife. So the total length is about this big and this big is 25 centimeters or 8.9.84 uh, inches. Uh, the blade length is 11.4 uh, inches. It's not the full length, so not the width of tang, but starting from where the uh, handles end uh, that's 11.4 centimeters or 4.33 inches and close length is 14.1 centimeters or 5.51 inches so it's about that big um, here's the Tempest as a comparison here's another buoy to compare so that's a bit about the size the weight is about 147 grams, which is 5.1, 5.2 ounces. Um, it's pretty much the same weight as a Tempest with the stainless steel um, spacers. The uh, Arachi also has stainless steel spacers. So those are the overall specs. Uh, if I'm forgetting something. Of course, the blade thickness, I mean the handle thickness. Um, let me see if I can get a good view of this. As you can see, the handles of the Arachi are quite a bit 
thicker than the um, 43. I'm using the 43 as a reference because that's the knife most people know. Let me get this in the forefront. So yeah, those are the general specs. Um, let's talk a bit about the blade. As you can see, I already showed the blade, but it's just an insane grind. It's quite a thick uh, piece of metal. Let's see if I can compare a bit without scratching up my knives too much. As you can see, it is it is thick. I mean, to get such deep grinds, you really need a thick piece of steel. The blade is 154 cm, which is the same blade steel as um, the 43. It's also the favorite or the preferred uh, uh, steel uh, of uh, Bali Ballistic. That's why it's uh, in that steel. I think the other knives uh, of um, Jerry Home are S35VN, at least the Spectre is, and uh, the Tempest is S30V, or is it also S35VN? Anyways, it's a good blade steel. It's been proven time and time again. Uh, for flipping, it doesn't really matter what blade steel should be easy enough to sharpen but the blade steel doesn't really matter that much for flipping it does matter for um, for an EDC but to be fair I don't think many people will use this knife as an EDC just because it's more of a collector's piece than a user but it would definitely serve great as a user if you decide to use it I mean go ahead it's 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 made for it, it it's built to be used so don't feel bad if you actually use your knife it's your knife I mean you can do whatever uh, you want with it if you bought it so that's a bit more about the blade I mean I, I'm just in love with it I can I can look at it for hours uh, the handles are titanium I had mine uh, anodized in purple which I find personally one of the best colors to uh, yeah I really like the purple anodization. The only problem I have with it is that, I mean, you immediately see fingerprints on it. It's just, yeah, oily fingers or, or greasy fingers, greasy hands will immediately mark up your uh, <clears throat> your handles or your uh, anodization. It's easy enough to clean, but, I mean, some people might not like that. I don't really care. It's my knife. It's going to have my fingerprints on it. So... Um, as I said before, um, the spacers in the handles are uh, stainless steel. I tested this just by holding a magnet to it. So, um, <clears throat> Is that a good thing? Well, the weight is very similar, but I do think the blade of the Tempest is a bit lighter, a bit heavier than the blade of the uh, Arachi, which means that the balance is not perfect for flipping. Uh, well. I don't really <clears throat> like um, the balance on the Arachi for flipping. It just takes a little bit more oomph to do my uh, rollovers. And um, yeah, it's a bit... I wouldn't say annoying, but it's sometimes bothersome to do certain moves. To give a good example, like a 0G ladder, that's a good move to uh, explain it. With a Tempest, it's just... It just rolls like a. I pretty much let the knife do the work, and I don't have the same feeling when I try to do it with um, an Arachi. So, flipping wise, I do think the Tempest is superior, at least with the uh, stainless steel uh, spacers in it. So, that's why, yeah, I think that's the main reason why I don't really like. Um, well, that's bit too strongly worded that's why I prefer the Tempest over the Arachi for flipping and then we move to the latch um, the latch is really nice it's I mean it's simple it has a bit of, and it's a, uh, has a bit of an indent in the middle and then it has a triangle which I see as a, a kind of devil tail latch and it, it's simple but it's it's nice I I like it I don't know, not not much to say. There's a good lockup. It's functional. I don't know what else to say about the latch. 
So what else can I say about the knife? Um, any details I've forgotten. Um, yeah, the pins, well not the pins but the screws and the tang, it's um, a, uh, what you call it, a bushing system. English is hard, you know. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about it. It's, I don't know. I like it. it it's, it's not a deal breaker for me if it's not bushing constructed. Some people are very picky about that. I'm not really like that. Um, what else can I mention? Oh yeah, this is maybe kind of a difference. The Tang. A difference between Tang between the Tempest and the uh, Arachi. It's a bit of a different shape. It works. It's, it's beautiful. Arachi doesn't pinch. The Tempest doesn't pinch either. It's the Prodigy that pinches a lot. But, yeah. It's, I mean, from a design point, wait, so you can't see them like that, but from a design point, I don't know, I, I like them both, but I do prefer the uh, bigger tang on the uh, Arachi. So, that's a bit, that's pretty much my overview of uh, the knife. I've talked a bit about flipping, um, I could talk a bit about using the knife, but I don't know, I don't use my balisongs for cutting tasks, I just use regular folders for them. Uh, mainly because I can't carry uh, balisongs, so... Um, yeah. I can't say too much about use. It's a great blade steel. It's a great blade. It does cut very well. Um, but I doubt m uh, people will use this as an EDC. Um, it's a great knife, but it's maybe a bit too great. And most people won't use it for flipping either. It's a great knife, it, it's beautiful, but it might be too beautiful and a bit too exclusive to be uh, flipped. Um, I've noticed the same problem with the Tempest. Uh, I don't see many people flip this knife. It's a great flipper, it's, it really is. It's, it's uh, such a, a great knife, but it's... It's not like it, it, the knife is too expensive, but it's, it's, the value is too high. Um, people buy these knives as an investment piece. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to be your, you don't want to use a knife that might be worth a lot of money someday as a beater knife. And, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of nice because, I mean, it's always nice when your knife go up in value, but it's also kind of sad because, those are these are great knives. They're great knives to be flipped and used, but because they're so premium, because they're so, they're so high in demand, you won't see many flipped or used. And yeah, it, it's kind of sad. I mean, my philosophy on the topic is it it's what a buyer wants to do. Some people, yeah, they don't like when knives go to collectors when they're obviously obviously meant to be flippers. I kind of think that's bullshit. If you buy a knife, it's your knife. You you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to you put it in a collection, it's fine. If you want to beat it to death, if you want if you want to throw it away, if you want to destroy it, it's your knife. You bought it. It's none of anyone's business. But it's yeah. I do find it a bit sad that some knives that are really made for flipping don't get flipped that much. But yeah, w what can you do? So that's a bit of my overview on the knife. It's a great knife. I'm really happy about it. It's so beautiful. It's definitely my my most beautiful knife in my collection. Uh, will I flip it? Maybe. I probably will make a little video with it uh, once I'm a bit settled in because I just moved. So um, I will make a video with it, but it won't be my main flipper. Mainly because the Tempest is a better flipper, and uh, well, to be honest, this this piece right here, it's dirty, but it's definitely still my favorite flipper. Anyway, that was my overview. Wouldn't say it's a real review, but that's that's semantics, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, if you have any more questions or any suggestions or any more ideas or opinions please post them in the comments i'll see you next time